Hey guys, um, update, Brie is home now, but for reasons not needing to be disclosed, uh, she will not be participating in any electronic devices, social media, internet in any way, shape, or form for the unforeseeable future. So she will not be per being in the video. We thank you for your well wishes. I personally believe, and her mother personally believes, that she needs long-term help. But uh, insurance companies, they say, here's your limit, you get out, go home, deal with it. And so we've had a lot of changes we've had to do over here. And uh, she does need support. And we're going to give her all the love we can to uh, start a new lease on life, start all over fresh and new. So Bria is home. And we spent this past week really reorganizing a lot of the house, redoing her whole room just to make that it's a good, safe environment. So... Anyway, reason I'm doing this video is none of that. Uh, you guys don't need to be up with my drama and my household crap. Just for the people that care. Now you know. But, see this huge box over here? Viewer named Jim. I don't know if he wants me to say his full name or not. Um, that's fine. I, I won't. But uh, he said he was sending me a package. And I didn't have to do a video on it and open it uh, until everything was settled. Well, coincidentally, it came in the same day that everything kind of got settled. I said I wouldn't do a video until Brie got home. She's home, and I have pre-scored the box, but I haven't opened it because, oh, good lordy, it's big. Ah. And it uh, doesn't look like they use media mail either, so maybe they could have paid a little less if they would have let him. I don't know if they would have let him or not. All right, I am opening the box. Ah, a letter, value vinyl. Let's see if I'm going to pre-read it, see if there's, it's readable or not. Here are the records that we talked about in your email correspondence. I hope you enjoy them. I threw in a couple more records that you would appreciate. It's nice to see that someone else like, likes trumpets. Yeah, Doc Severinsen, he says he's a fan. I do too, I just don't have any Doc. Um, he was great, you know, and uh, I used to watch him on TV as a kid, you know, every night, you know. He was in the band for, uh, you know, he was Johnny Carson's, right? If I remember right. Uh... Oh, people think of him on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. But he was an excellent trumpet player before that. Yes, he was. I learned something while getting into the Herb Elpert records. Elpert co-founded a and That is correct. He's the A in a &M. Verified. You are correct, Jim. Producer Kong Sung Fenner was Jerry Moss, which is the M in a and &M. You're right. It's not only nice to give you something to, to learn something as well. That is the whole point. You know, is about discovering things. If you guys keep up on my Facebook, which is Heave Starkema, because my full name, real name, in real life is Steve Harkema. I just kind of flipped over and made it Heave, like, Bleh! and then Starkema, like the Stark family in the Game of Thrones. That wasn't intentional. I had that way before Game of Thrones. But anyway, if you follow that, there, I, every, when I get new records and I spin them, I put them up there and I learn a lot of stuff. It's about the learning. That's what I love about this. All right, some bubble wrap for you, Sack. Bubble wrap porn for you. Ooh, 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 here we go. Yeah, ASMR baby. Got a stiffener. Ooh, the jumbo size bubble wrap. The big bubbles. All right, we're digging in. All right. And again, maybe I have some, maybe I don't. Maybe they're upgrades, maybe they're not. But nonetheless, that's what we're here for. The home for those disregarded records. First one up, Al Hurt in stereo. Can't remember off the bat. I do have a copy of this, but I don't know if it's in better shape and whether or not the freaking phone is ringing. Hold on, guys. This is a stereo. <clears throat> you know what? All right. Hello. Uh-huh. An appointment reminder automated. Okay. Okay. This is an appointment reminder for Brie, one of those automated ones. This is a robot. You have an appointment. Don't forget. Yeah, <laughs> believe me, we're not forgetting about that appointment. Can't even important. But yes, all right. L hurt first one. Love Al, my boy. Ah. Uh, I do not think I have this one. This is the LSP. Maybe I think I have the mono of L hurt. Greatest horn in the world. I do have a copy of this too, but I think this might be a fill-in. Fill oh, this is a great one too. Yes, I love getting these Al Hurts. Oh, more Al Hurt. Oh, these are 
great. Bazam! God. It's my dad. My, my dad, Al. Hi, Papa. Papa, can you hear me? All right. What do we got next? I do not have this one at all. This looks completely new to me. That honey horn sound. Al Hart. Oh, and it's in the shrink. This is a great addition. Because I guarantee you I don't have it. And you can't get better that's still in the shrink. Thank you, Jim. This is a... Mwah! Sorry, Dad. Didn't mean to kiss you on your forehead. And I don't have this one. For sure. How Al Hurt's Happy Trumpet. Oh, the Fox, Syncopated Clock, Mardi Gras, Pig Pen. Oh, so many good stuff on there. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. That's awesome. What do we got next? Al Hurt, Swingin' Dixie, America's Greatest Trumpet Artist, Volume 3. I don't have this one either. So the first two I may have had, and it just depends on quality and if it's mono or stereo. But these last three... For sure, are going in the collection, um, filling in holes. Ah, Al Hurt music to watch, girls. By oh, this is funny. One of the few Al Hurts I actually have in the shrink, and he has it also still in the shrink. I wonder if nobody took it out of the shrink when they got it, but it's a great record. I do have this one, but uh, depends because again. As with most of his, there is mono and stereo, so you got to keep an eye on that. So I got to have one of each, at least, in my primary collection. Ah, strutting down Royal Street, L. Hurt. I do have a version of this, but again, this one is in really good shape. Look at that. This is dark. Look at that. You see any ring wire? I don't. That is tight. I think that's an upgrade if I don't have it in that version. Ah. Honey on the horn. And this is the Mono LPM. I think the one that I have that's still in the shrink is the stereo. i uh, have to take a look. This may be that too. Wow. All L hurt so far, guys. He, Jim has spoiled the bejeebers out of me. And a few of these I don't have. And some of them I think are opposites where I have the Mono and those are the stereo. Oh, so awesome. Next up, Original Surfing Hits. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, yes. Who does not love good surf music? My, you know, I love the Ventures. Grab anything I can. Wow, Crescendo Records. I don't even know what this label looks like. I got to take it out. Look at Original Sleeve. Wow, look at that. Nope, I do not have any other Crescendo labels that look like that. That is awesome. <laughs> What's up next? Mr. Trumpet. Longy Symphonist Society prevents Harry James. Right? Salutes the great trumpet men of our times. Longy Symphonist always got a good pressing. This is going to be good. Can never go wrong with Trumpy, man. Mr. Trumpet. What you looking for? I oh. have been dethroned. Oh, I know. He is individually bubble wrapped every the single one. I know. You, I know you take pride in your packing, but oh boy, did he go over the top and make sure that this is coming in one piece. Monterey Brass, A Taste of Honey, Million Seller Trumpet Hits. I might have this. Kind of, the, it looks familiar, but if not, this is going to be awesome because. Remember, I am going to be doing a Taste of Honey uh, video with all the different versions of that song I got, and this might be another one to it. Ugh. Awesome possums. You keep going, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, Henry Mancini. Uh, love this. I do not have this. I'm glad to have it. Because, oh, he does a cover of Girl from Ipanema on here. Yeah. Good. This is right up my alley of stuff I love. Man, you are spoiling me with all the good stuff. More! More Mancini! And it's part of the Rainbow Collection. If you guys are familiar, RCA had uh, almost every artist on their catalog. They did best of albums and then put their name in rainbow letters. You might have saw them on my Jim Reeves collection, but I've got 
you know, that might be a nice video for me too. I've got probably five or six different artists with best of RCAs from this time frame. And this Mancini goes right into it. This is volume two also. Yeah. Cool. This is awesome stuff for the library. Oh, what is this? It's in a sleeve. Promotional copy. What? Herb Albert. What? Push and pull. Fandango. Rule 101. Holy cow. Look at this, guys. It is a, well, maxi single. There's two songs on each side. But look at that. It's a white label promo, Herb Albert. Hell yeah. Woo. Nice. Treasure. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that, the box keeps giving. I'm getting through here. Herb Albert, I'm missing. This is one of his few mainline albums I've been missing. SRO. I got it. One of the Herb Alperts I'm missing, Mama. Oh. Wow. Wowsy, wowsy, wowsers. Well, wait. You. Oh. Mono. Stereo. Oh, not only do I have it, I got both versions and one in the shrink. What the hell? Ooh. Whoa! I do not deserve this. I do not. I do not. I do not. Oh my goodness. What is next? I do not have this. This is one of the later ones. You smile. The song begins. This is on my list of ones that I... The newer ones. Oh. It was Her Pelper and the T... Was it? TJB. Tijuana Brass. TJB. Oh, you don't hardly ever find this out there. You usually get the same old ones that you normally see. You know, the whipped cream and the south and... Oh, wow. Filling out my Herb Albert in my... And then another one. Warm. Oh, man, I cannot believe it. Jim, my gosh. Oh. The two artists I collect the most, Herb Albert and Al Hurt. Holy cow, has that collection been super expanded. That is totally awesome. Ugh. Finally reached the bottom of the box, guys. And, uh... Take a look at the pile of... Bubble wrap. Wow. They came in one piece. That is yeah, totally I amazing. The love with that. Yeah, we're gonna reuse that. Gonna oh yeah, here you go. There you go. Enjoy. There's tons. I don't believe in wasting. All bubble wraps lives matter, guys. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, it doesn't matter who you like as an uh, artist when it comes to vinyl. You know, you may be, you know, hey, I like Raven. They're a great metal band, or I like Doris Day. It doesn't matter who you like. Just have fun collecting. Because when it comes to collecting records, all vinyl lives matter. Take care, guys. And thank you, Jim. I have no way to know how to repay you. And I know in your letter you said you didn't need to. But, man, I got your return address. So now i got to be thinking. It's got to be something special. Or maybe I won't because you said not to. Do I listen to you or do I not? I don't listen to my wife. I don't even listen to myself. Ow. Okay, maybe I'll listen to her now. Take care, guys. <laughs>